Okay, grade 9 is continuing from the last video. We are still looking at um, this diagram. Okay, so the surface area of the top of a cylinder is the same as the bottom of a cylinder. So if you look, let me just explain surface area quickly so you guys understand, right? So if you look at the red cylinder, the surface area is about that big. If you look at the blue one, it's about that big. Now the surface area is basically the length times the breadth. Okay, it's the amount of space that is over here. All right. So the surface area that is at the top here is the same as the bottom of the cylinder. Same goes here. The surface area that is uh, here is equal to the surface area that is at the bottom because it's continuous. It is the same size. Okay. And it is the same as the surface area of any cut right, that we make at a right angle with the height of the cylinder. So if we had to cut here and look at it, if we had to cut, uh, sorry, make that straight. If we had to cut it and look at it, it will be the same surface area at the top and at the bottom. If we cut it here, it will be the same surface area at the top and at the bottom. Okay. Right, it is called a cross-sectional area. So, because we are cutting through the, the middle, okay? Right, if you struggle to understand this concept, think about a roll of bologna or a brick-shaped bread. Right, you know the bread that's not sliced. So, every piece that you cut from the bologna or the bread has exactly the same shape and size. Also known as the same surface area. Sorry, it also has the same surface area. Okay, the same applies for these syringes. Okay. 